Am I gonna fling myself into the ocean? I don't know what I'm doing. I don't either. I'm just swinging. <laughs> Can you hit the right? Just the, what does the I'm right trigger everything. do? Play. Right trigger does nothing. I'm controlling his feet. That's all I'm doing. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. That's odd. How about I stop the swing? I bet the game wants you to go all around, all the way around the bar. All the way over the bar. I'm assuming it wants me to swing really high. Can you look up, maybe? Oh, the, the right joystick is his right foot. Oh. That helps a lot. <laughs> okay. He swore. He'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. Yeah, I'm flinging over that fence. I think Calvin always. So Barbara's the to sister. Fly. I don't know. <laughs> I always wanted to fly. Huh? See ya. Please don't do that thing again. Are we having tuna again? Finally made up his mind to do it. I told See him going around was impossible. Oh, he wants to go around. Maybe if I hadn't seen Yeah, go around the bar. Or I don't know what it's attached to. Oh, it's a tree branch. Go around the tree branch. That's extra dangerous. Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. And maybe it like could this. still be here. I don't either. But I doubt it. I'm gonna like break my neck or something. I think he'd already made up his mind. Uh, I think... That's what I want to remember about my brother. So wait, what? Okay, oh, I lost it. Okay, I lost it. Calvin's the... Oh, go to... Oh, oh, oh. Ah, I did it. You did it. You did, you did it three times. Impressive. See ya. And he did. I'm fine forever. And he did. Okay, so that was Calvin, the one who just died. Okay. Sam was the... Now let's go over this. Whoever was Calvin's talking. Okay, Molly was the, the when sister. I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same Odin. Thing. Odin was the dad, or the, the, the... Odin the, was the guy who... Whoops. Like the patriarch of the family? Yeah, he's the one who came across the ocean. Okay. Okay, he's... Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, Calvin is the... Calvin and Molly are brother and sister? I would, I yeah, think. I think Sam, Calvin, Barbara, Molly, and Walter, maybe? Are uh, all siblings. Okay. Okay, okay, so Edie, oh, okay, gotcha. And the Barbara is the, the mom that eventually, or no, not, your way. Dawn is the, the mom. Okay, Dawn is the mom. Of the main character. Okay, where's Dawn? Oh, okay. That's us. <clears throat> That's us. Is she taking a selfie? That may, Or Looks not a like selfie, it. or like a, like a gym selfie. A gym mirror, whatever, I don't know. I'm, I'm back not swole. Alright, I'm going. Where to now? Let's go. After the funeral, Edie roped off Calvin's half of the room. Oh yeah, that, I took that rope off. Mom said Grandpa Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. So, oh yeah, we... She talked about that earlier. The... No, don't go that way. No, nah, wrong way. When we we looked okay. into this room and they said that he had stayed in this, the room with his dead brother. Okay. That's cool. Another secret door. Wait, so the guy in the poster enlisted after his brother died. The Just guy who sure. wrote that letter. Okay. Yeah. He... The passages were a pretty tight fit. They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. You're not gonna look at that? I think that what, what looks more like progress. Oh. 
Shortcut. So wait, I'm in, So let me make sure I got this straight. The guy in the room that wrote that letter is Sam. Sam, and his brother Calvin died. Yeah. And Sam enlisted in the army after Calvin died. A few years after he died. Okay, gotcha. Now but we're in Barbara's room. That's the same poster. Growing up, yep. I always thought of Barbara as a child star. Oh, this is going to be a great hallucination. <laughs> I never thought about how hard it must have been for her afterwards. Everyone's memorialized on giant chunks of wood. Everybody. Of all the stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. So they're writing stories about... Yeah, I'd isolate myself too if people wrote comic books about an actual person. Oh, Jack here with another ghastly tale. I like this. <laughs> America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it the surprise ending of Barbara Finch. Jeez. Yeah, this is kind of tasteless. As a child star, Barbara was famous for her scream. <laughs> now it's this is so screwed up. Jeez. A has been. But in a lucky she was a flight way, attendant. She'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just the boost her career needed. Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. <laughs> Getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. Oh, oh nerds. <laughs> right about the nerds. Boyfriend, Rick. Is about to demonstrate biggest fan now. and current boyfriend now that was a great scream it was barbara's father sven he'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room slipped so into barbara a table saw got stuck babysitting her youngest brother walter a convention knock off tales of the crypt we know <laughs> just just try to stay locked into the story okay, i'm hearing frustration but I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried... A gang of hoodlums and Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orca's Island tonight. Police are urging residents That's to... Right. That came from the basement. You're right. You're also, right. <laughs> I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles and secret passages. That makes There's sense. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret is to keep winding... We already did that, right? And winding... Mm -hmm. Until finally, the key pops out. Thanks, babe. I'll be back in a sec. Oh, we didn't take the key out, though. We did not. Well, now we know. Rick hadn't returned. So Barbara went to look for him. Right on cue. She reached for the music box. Oh, so now you're playing in the comic book. <laughs> Great. So I gotta do this twice now? Wow, the graphics are even more low res now. <laughs> Yay! That's the Halloween yeah. music. She found Rick's what are you doing? The worst. Now this is an action game. <laughs> John Carpenter does not care anymore. You want to remake the movie? Fine, as long as I get paid royalties. Come on, Michael Myers, where are you? Man killer, Dr. Carl Hamill. I can't believe this. <laughs> this is so weird. I do like this more than the eating rabbits. True. But what's in the fridge? <laughs> 
this is the best comic book ever. It's got animation in it. <laughs> it's a motion comic. Oh dear. Hit him. Yeah, I had the option not to hit him. Rick? Barb, relax. I was just trying to scare you to help you find your screen. That's what I thought. I'm not scared, yep. Rick. I'm furious. <laughs> then act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and you're... Yeah, that's right. <laughs> but you kept a little something to remember him by. Sorry I staged a break-in. That's just how I am. And she was still holding it when she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. Late, late. Hours late. I don't think 12 a.m. is late, Barbara! late. Drive-in movie. What's going on up there? Ah! Okay, I'm coming up. But if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter. Kill him. This is literally every horror movie ever. <laughs> I can't. I'm. I'm. If you're getting annoyed with me, sorry, but I can't believe they just ripped off the Halloween music. Obviously, I'm surprised too. Especially because that movie just came out. Well, this came out a couple years ago. This is back when John Carpenter had no hope for that movie to get revitalized. Walter's the little brother, I think. Yes. Orca's Island Police describe the man as six feet tall, with a steel hook for a hand. Residents are urged to lock all doors and windows and notify the police of any suspicious activity. Oh, no. I returned, saw the hook man, and... You aren't, you aren't deserving of the... You was quite smashing. I know what you did last summer. <laughs> So I, I don't even have an adjective to describe this. She played her part beautifully. Oh, am I gonna hit him in the back of the head? Is he around the corner? No. You try. <laughs> oh no, he's dead now. <laughs> he slipped it. Wasn't moving, but she sensed the story might not be over yet. Go down the stairs. Trying to find the stairs. There we go. I'm not quite keen yet on the layout. Holiday cookies. I gotta it's know. not what we need to focus on right now. I gotta know what these are. They're these apples. Are apples. <laughs> Why are you giving out apples? <laughs> Probably because no one's showing up. With razor blades in them. <laughs> yep, he's gone. The hook man had vanished. She listened by his breathing. But all that she wall looks different. Was... I'm no longer scared. That guy slipped on a, uh, a skate. Roller skate. Why would someone make a comic book about this? <laughs> was dying to speak to young Barbara. At the door, she whispered. Psst. It was coming from inside the house. What? How does that work? The whispering was coming from inside the house. Good one. Oh, dear. Because this is too early on for cell phones. Call was coming from inside the house. That guy literally fell off the banister into a glass table, probably head first. How is he not dead? And she saw what kind of monsters they were. And that's not and she cool. realized what was about to happen. <laughs> she was going to be famous. And with her final breath, Barbara Finch <laughs> gave the performance. This is demented. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> I was a fair myself, but I hear Barbara was magnificent. So 
she had a taste for stardom. But That's really messed up. Yeah. So did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. And little Walter? Hey, did you hear about? Under oh, his bed the whole time. What a coward. <laughs> Oh, there's no controversy because he's a pumpkin, right? Because he's not human? Is that why? That's so weird. That is... Edie told me all Barbara wanted was to be remembered. As absurd as that comic was. Maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. Yeah, maybe that's not a reliable narrator. <laughs> but if it was, it's kind of stupid. I thought we were just going to come in here and it's like, oh, the heroin epidemic hit this house hard. And then it just became just a bunch of weird, weird stories and tales. Does she? There you go, my man. <laughs> 